Blessings, dear ones. This is Amanda Amethyst, and I have felt very called to create a video to share my love and my gratitude with all of you. So this video is a message for you, a message of support for all of the light workers, all of the sensitives, the empaths and healers, the teachers, the artists, the musicians, the women, the men, the children, the parents, the grandparents. We have all chosen to be here for this amazing shift in consciousness together. This can be a little intense sometimes. It's always very beautiful and sometimes it can feel like a bit of a challenge. That is how I have been experiencing things lately and I have felt the need for some encouragement and some upliftment and some love and so I've been giving that to myself and I want to share this also with you uh, and to say that I honor you. I honor your individual path, the one light that shines through the facet of the beautiful prism we all make up that is you. So again, I honor your individual path. I honor the one light that shines through the facet of the prism that is you, displaying your unique gifts out into this dimension. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being you. Your presence is so significant. If ever you feel like you're not doing enough or like you are not enough, please rest peacefully in this truth, the truth that your existence is a blessing and that you are appreciated and loved by so many of us. We are all in this together, especially when it feels like you are alone, dear one. We are shifting so rapidly and the best way that I have found to describe this time for me is that I feel like I'm inside of a kaleidoscope that is being turned. Everything keeps clicking through different configurations and it can feel destabilizing or ungrounding sometimes. It is also completely perfect and beautiful. As the kaleidoscope shifts, those things which are not completely in alignment with my highest good fall away so that a new combination of the fractals of what we call reality can coalesce. Is this what you wish to experience? Is this what you wish to experience? Is this what you wish to experience? So I have been uh, trying to just stay present through the shifts and to experience them and experience all of these different ways that what we call reality can come together and crystallize and to, to integrate this and to not become attached to it because it does continue to shift. And for me, things have been shifting very rapidly. It's like things are getting closer, it's getting warmer, is this what you wish to experience? Not quite? Okay, let's try this configuration instead. These skins being shed of myself and of many of my loved ones are revealing the beauty that I am and that we are and that you are. The beauty that you are in this ever-present moment of now. You are perfect, you are whole, you are the beloved child of Mother Earth and Father Sky, of the universe. We are all related, we are all one, and I love you so much. I know there are so many other people and beings and energies that love you so much. 
you are enough you are doing so much for this planet for humanity for your family for your community for the children for the animals for all of us simply by being here thank you I'd also like to share some messages which are very resonant with me right now and that I feel are also applicable to the collective. Expression has been coming up a lot for me recently. So for me, this is a verbal expression. I have found that it is sometimes difficult for me to express my needs and my boundaries. And so I'm exploring learning new ways to do this and staying grounded in love and respect for myself and for others. Practicing nonviolent communication, so not being attached to the requests that I put out verbally, but still speaking my truth. Expression is also the physical manifestation of your gifts and abilities in this world and of my gifts and abilities in this world. How does divine inspiration, the breath of spirit, move through you? Your expression is valid. Your expression is important. Your expression is needed. It is seen and felt. Another message that keeps coming up for me right now is integrity and along with integrity also authenticity and humility. This has been a big lesson for me recently. So for me this has shown up as recognizing and honoring boundaries within myself and within others as well. And there is a level of consistency that goes along with integrity and authenticity. So this consistency requires from us devotion. Devotion to ourselves, devotion to our journey, devotion to the divine or spirit or source or creator or god or goddess, however you connect with that energy, all that is. And devotion also to others who are sharing this path with us. It is also important, I feel, to bring a level of play and innocence into all that we do, and especially into these areas which can be deemed a little bit more serious or can come across as more intense. So taking time to be joyful, and also to be gentle. Gentle with ourselves and with others who are also here with us. Forgiveness is another theme that has been coming up a lot lately for myself and for others. Forgiveness for other people, for situations, for reality, what we call reality. And also forgiveness for yourself. There is unconditional love and acceptance available all around you and within you. Most importantly, within you. You are these things. You are unconditional love. You are acceptance. You are bliss. You are consciousness. You are existence. So once again, thank you for all that you do and all that you are. Thank you for your journey. Thank you for your pain, your joy, your love. Just wanted to say that I really love you. Blessings.